Screening for cell cycle associated genes by RNAi starts with choosing an appropriate knockdown technology. Mission Easy RNA Libraries from Sigma Aldrich makes use of the high efficiency and specificity of endoribonuclease prepared siRNA. Easy RNAs are complex pools of individual siRNAs prepared by enzymatic digest of long double stranded RNA complementary to the target mRNA. Pooling of siRNAs targeting the same transcript increases specificity and prevents the laborious search for efficient and specific individual siRNAs. This makes easy RNA especially suitable for large and medium scale loss off function screens. Here we show the steps necessary for performing a large scale RNA eye screen starting from setting up high throughput transfections to the development of an appropriate assay. This is exemplified by setting up a screen for genes involved in mammalian cell cycle progression. First, we show how transfection of HeLa cells is optimized, followed by statistical evaluation of the assay quality. Finally, a genome scale screen is performed measuring cell cycle distribution after target gene depletion. The hits are selected using the Z-score statistic and verified by secondary independent easy RNAs. Furthermore, we outline potential experimental procedures that can be used to follow up the RNA eye screen. Hi, I am Mirko Theis from the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics in Dresden. I'm Frank Buchholz, also from the Max Planck Institute in Dresden. Today, we will show you a procedure for setting up a loss of function screen in mammalian cells utilizing mission easy RNAs from Sigma Aldrich. An assay for measuring cell cycle distribution in a population of tissue culture cells will be used as an example to demonstrate how genes can be linked to a biological process using RNAi screening. So, let's get started. Every RNAi screening project starts with the choice of silencing triggers employed. Endoribonuclease prepared siRNAs, or easy RNAs for short, are generated by limited enzymatic digestion of long double stranded RNA using RNAs3. Every easy RNA is verified for identity by sequencing and for purity by caliper lab chip analysis. Pooling of individual siRNAs, all targeting the same transcript, increases specificity because every siRNA in the pool shares the same on-target, whereas the off-target effects are diluted out. Therefore, easy RNAs have good silencing efficacy and high target specificity, avoiding off-target effects. Genome scale easy RNA libraries are provided by Sigma Aldrich in 384 well plates with the edge wells empty. Additionally, eight positions in the center of the plate are left empty for controls. Sublibraries of easy RNAs are provided in 96 well plates with all wells occupied. Here, the customers can decide on how the easy RNAs will be arrayed in those plates. Individual easy RNAs are provided in single tubes. Transfection of easy RNA requires optimization for different transfection reagents and cell lines. Here, HeLa cells, cultured following standard procedures and oligofectamine as transfection reagent, is used. Use EG5 easy RNA, a kinesin motor protein required for bipolar spindle assembly, as a positive control, and Ranilla luciferase easy RNA as a negative control. In a 384 well plate, titrate different amounts of easy RNA, for instance from 1 nanogram to 56 nanograms with an increment of 5 nanograms, and increasing amounts of transfection reagent from 0.1 microliters to 0.9 microliters with an increment of 0.05 microliters. After mixing the RNA and the transfection reagent, add the cells and incubate for 48 hours. When the incubation period has finished, check the cells under a light microscope. Count the cells transfected with EG5 easy RNAs that show a round shape indicative of mitotic arrest, 
Also, count the total number of cells transfected with a negative control, Ranilla luciferase, easy RNA. The optimal transfection condition shows the least toxicity for Ranilla luciferase and the most pronounced phenotype for EG5. Now that the transfection parameters are optimized, proceed to setup and primary screen. Automated pipetting stations such as Matrix Wellmate or TCAN Aquarius, used to prepare the primary screens, should be placed under a laminar flow hood to avoid contamination. All used components should be sanitized before use, either by autoclaving if applicable, or by spraying with 75% ethanol. Prior to the screen, these instruments should be optimized according to the manufacturer's protocols. Optimize the pipetting accuracy for all used components on the automated pipetting station. Because pipetting parameters change depending on the type of solution, volume and plate type, this optimization has to be repeated for every step separately. In addition, optimize the wash protocols so that cross-contamination from well to well is excluded. When the automated pipetting stations are ready, transfect cells in 384 well format using the optimized conditions previously determined to make sure that no position effects are observed. Use easy RNAs for EG5 and Ranilla luciferase with an alternating pattern covering the whole plate. Leave all edge wells empty since a common problem when using multi-well plates is enhanced evaporation at the edge wells during incubation time. This leads to different experimental conditions in different wells, which often translates to plate position effects. To further minimize evaporation, employ evaporation barriers such as Corning breathable sealing tape. Also, make sure that the incubators are kept at high humidity. However, remember that there are other possible sources for position effects, such as variation in liquid handling or the readout system, such as a plate reader. After incubation for 48 hours, fix the cells with ice-cold 100% ethanol for 2 hours then rehydrate in PBS for 15 minutes. Stain the fixed cells for 25 minutes in PBS containing one microgram per milliliter of DAPI and 100 micrograms per milliliter of RNAs A. Finally, wash three times with PBS and store at four degrees Celsius. Next, measure the intensity of DAPI fluorescence by microscopy. An Olympus ScanR system is used here. For each well, examine the cells and determine the relative DAPI intensity. Generate a histogram by plotting DAPI intensity against cell number. Based on the histogram, evaluate the cell cycle distribution by calculating the percentage of cells with the DNA content 2N for G1, G0 phase, between 2N and 4N for S phase, 4N for G2, M phase, and larger than 4N for aneuploidy or polyploidy. In order to evaluate the homogeneity of the results over the plate, compare the cell cycle distribution between the different wells by comparing the percentage of cells in G2M phase for the EG5 and Ranilla luciferase transfections. If the results differ significantly over the plate, further optimization is required to eliminate position effects. Once satisfied with the consistency of the results, calculate the statistical differences between the positive and negative controls. Use the z-factor equation shown here to determine the statistical significance of the results. SD stands for standard deviation and AV stands for average. A z-factor between 1 and 0.5 indicates a statistically significant separation of negative controls and noise from the positive controls. If such a statistical difference has been established, one can proceed to the primary screen. Prepare 384 well tissue culture plates for transfection of easy RNAs utilizing the predetermined optimized conditions. Here, 15 nanograms of easy RNA per well are dissolved in 5 microliters of TE buffer. At least 8 control positions per plate are loaded with suitable positive and negative controls for the biological process studied. 
Here, EG5 and Ranilla luciferase easy RNAs are used. To avoid position effects, the edge wells are loaded with 5 microliters of TE buffer only. Next, add 5 microliters of Opti MEM containing 0.2 microliters of oligofectamine per well. Mix and incubate for 20 minutes at room temperature. After mixing the RNA with the transfection reagent, add the cell suspension. Here, 40 microliters of a HeLa cell suspension are added at 25 cells per microliter concentration, equivalent to 1,000 cells per well. Incubate for 72 hours. After the 72 hour incubation, measure the DNA content on an automated microscope, such as the Olympus Scan R, as previously shown. Repeat this procedure for all plates of the library. For hit selection, evaluate the DNA content values using Z score statistics. Note that the Z score is not the same as the Z factor. Z-scores provide a statistical measure for significance of sample value in comparison to a negative or mock control. It is calculated following the equation shown here. Calculate the Z-scores for all the easy RNA samples using the signal for the negative Ranilla luciferase control as reference. For HIT selection, a threshold has to be applied. Typically, a significance criterion for Z greater than 2 or smaller than minus 2 is used. However, depending on the studied biological process or the scope of the screen, different thresholds may be applied. More elaborate mathematical evaluation methods like the Q-score can also be used for hit selection. Next, the selected hits are subjected to a secondary screen and hit validation. A secondary screen of the selected hit genes follows the primary screen to eliminate false positives due to experimental variation. First, verify the selected hits using the same procedure as in the primary screen, except set up the hits with a bigger number of replicates, between 3 and 5, to allow for a better statistical evaluation. For the verified hits, use the same assay and readout as in the primary screen, but with a secondary non-overlapping easy RNA or another non-overlapping silencing trigger, such as a chemically synthesized SI RNA. Ultimately, validate the selected genes by cross-species RNAi rescue, the gold standard for the verification of RNAi phenotypes available to date. In short, a bacterial artificial chromosome, abbreviated BAC, encoding an ortholog from a different species of the selected gene, is stably transfected into cells. BAC constructs preserve a gene in its genomic context and allow for a nearly physiological expression. RNAi against the endogenous gene will leave the ortholog transgene expression unaltered, which rescues the RNAi phenotype. Finally, the validated candidates are studied in more detail to eventually derive mechanistic understanding. In many cases, RNAi can be used in these secondary, more elaborate assays as well, for example, time-lapse microscopy of RNAi phenotypes. Here is an example of a cell cycle screen in which the DNA content of HeLa cells were measured after knockdown of more than 16,000 genes from the human genome. 1,351 primary hits were identified to be required for cell division. In the secondary screen, 743 hits were verified with a secondary independent easy RNA trigger. Using a secondary assay, knockdowns that resulted in a G2 arrest were separated from knockdowns that resulted in mitotic arrest. Finally, a cross-species RNAi rescue experiment for the gene LIN54 was used to validate its role for proper cell division. Further downstream experiments showed that depletion of LIN54 altered the expression of many cell cycle genes. We have just shown you how to set up high throughput transfection of mission easy RNAs and analysis of the cell cycle distribution in the human tissue culture cell line. When doing this procedure, it is important to remember that 
transfection conditions and assays have to be optimized separately for any cellular system and any biological process. The use of automated liquid handling systems is recommended but not indispensable. Especially for small scale screens, manual handling is feasible as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiments.